So here's a quick rundown of the finishing process on this job. We've sanded the oak to 240 grit. We're now wetting it to raise the grain so that when that dries off, it will sand again and it won't raise when we stain it. We've got parts at different stages of production here. This is where we're doing the staining. We've got a Finney's water-based stain in walnut. That's mixed by Mark Finney, who's local to us. He's a real expert in wood finishing. Now a piece that is just stained is this one. So you see the oaks darkened down, but it's very liable to marks and uh, dust getting into the grain, that sort of thing. So the next step is uh, what Ismail's just been doing here. That's had a, an oil on it. Now this is again from Mark Finney. It's his hard wax oil which is pretty quick drying, it's got a satin finish, microporous hard wax oil, so that gives a very nice natural finish and it adds depth to the colour. So these ones are drying and uh, that will soak in quite nicely, so you don't have to be too perfect on the application when it's a single coat. That's had the oil on it. Now once that's fully dry, which is two to three hours minimum I'd say with that, then we put the wax on, uh, which is this one here. So again, a finished product. This is a very high quality wax. It's a finishing wax, which means you always put it on top of another wood finish. You don't put it directly onto wood. And this one, it has, it's called antique, so it has some of that dark color to it. So it's another layer of, of depth of color. Now this, I think, has had that applied so you get a feel for the look of it there. We've got other bits hanging around that are different stages. These doors we've we've hung up. You see that's just got the stain on and that's still drying off. We've hung these up here as a way to let them dry on both sides. You don't want to get finger marks and runs in the stain. So that's the finishing process.